Hello and welcome back to episode two of this Eagles franchise. I was going through the, the menus just to, you know, like, figure out how to maneuver through this because I'm still very, very new to this. And I found the rookie report. I was like, okay, well, can this show me the upcoming rookies into the draft? And it does. And I found this beast. Carlton Bell, six foot five, one ninety eight, running a two four two eight forty. That big, that fast. I want this guy. <laughs> I do. I, I want this guy. I, he is gonna be my number one target to at least scout. Cause I you know, I haven't done an off season in this game yet. I did watch a few videos of people doing the off season so i know i guess you could say generically how it goes apparently i get like four days of uh scouting in a com in the combine and i get a certain amount of hours so i'm gonna put a decent amount if not all the hours i can into scouting carlton bell here I was looking at fullbacks. I didn't find anything interesting. Running backs. Roosevelt Cruz. Nothing really... Uh, anything spectacular. 455 five guy. And Arturo Jenkins. I really don't need a running back though with this Eagles team. Same guy. Two different skin colors. One darker than the other. That's interesting. That guy kind of looks like LJ Smith. Now what I normally like to do in my franchise modes is immediately get rid of the uh, the original quarterback so I can have my own quarterback. The problem is I don't really see any quarterbacks, at least in the top three in the draft, that are standing out to me. A quarterback has to stand out to me. There has to be like something about him that's just, you know, it clicks for me. I, I can't explain it. It's not anything I look for. It's not the name. It's not the college. It's not like the numbers or the height or the weight or anything like that. It's just something about it. And none of these guys really have it. I mean, this guy has good touchdowns and interceptions. He's the only one under 40 in interceptions from, from the looks of it. Yeah, he's the only one under 40 in interceptions. He has 102 touchdowns, 39 interceptions. Clarence Atkins, 6'229". Ooh, he has a lot of incompletions. Let me just do a quick math real quick to find out the, com the percentage of that. 67. Okay, so roughly about 67, 68%. Not bad. 9,000 yards. Yeah, it looks like he's the, the best guy. I mean, he's definitely not the biggest guy. This guy is 6'5". Six 6'5". Five. Six five. Is anyone like 6'6", six six, just for the fun of it? Yeah. Another guy named Arturo. Arturo Hill from Temple. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't mind at least looking for a backup. Oh, well, there are a couple guys there in the fours. You know, under five seconds in the four-yard, uh, forty-yard dash. Mitchell Brady. I mean, I'll definitely look at the quarterbacks, but if nothing, then I'm most likely gonna stick with Donovan McNabb and I'm not a big fan of Donovan McNabb so it's a shame that none of the quarterbacks really stand out to me tight ends I do love my tight ends Bernard Montgomery six foot five he looks pretty kind of like that I do like big tight ends especially big tight ends that can catch if I could find a a hands-focused, possession-catching tight end. He doesn't even have to be fast, dude. Right, for tight ends, for me, you don't have to be fast. You just have to be big, strong, and catch the ball. Six foot five. 
I think that's the tallest one here. No, we got a 6'6 six, six guy. Guy named Moss, too. Maybe he can moss people then. <laughs> Another 6'6 six, six dude. Another 6'6 six, six dude. Centers. I don't know if we need offensive linemen. We got kickers and punters. Defensive tackles might be a need for this team. Unlike Madden, it doesn't really have a, a uh, thing in the menu where I can actually look at, like, people's age and all. I, this guy, Wolf. Hmm. 4, 7, 5. He's decently fast. He has a decent amount of stacks. I might look at Wolf there. Clifton Simon. Dean Foster, Russell Armstrong. You gotta have good linebackers. I know the Eagles are not known for picking linebackers, like, at all. Or at least valuing the linebacker position. But I'm the complete opposite. I heavily value the linebacker position. Nelson Gardner, I do like this dude. I also like... Wade Gregory. Ooh. Gardner and Gregory are definitely going to be guys on my list. Apparently the top person in this draft is a tackle. Top three people, apparently. Alright, uh, we have Mills Mock Draft. Let's take a look at this. A running back first overall. That's crazy. Adkins going to the Lions. Cowboys taking quarterback... Uh, Tyrone Wells. What do they have us taking? They're probably like in the 20s somewhere. Or no, they have us at 31. Okay. They have us taking Richard Osborne. Receivers taken in the first round according to this Mills mock draft. Then again, what does Mel know? Injury report. Uh, Michael Lewis was a broken leg. Terrell Owens was a foot stress fracture. Todd Pinkston, he's out with a dislocated shoulder. Greg Lewis is out with a broken vertebrae. Where do I check, like, their age and their stats altogether? And that used to be, like, on, uh, in Madden, you can check just, you know, team. Oh, okay. I just press select. I'm, I'm just, I was just pressing buttons. I mean, I could check the date of birth, but that doesn't <laughs> directly tell me. The thing is, what I forget what year we're in. Is this 2004, or 2005? Why you gotta force me to do math? 2005. Minus 1976. He's 29. So I guess... Keep him for one more year in case there's a quarterback next year that... Really stands out to me. Alright, now let's go back to business here. Lito Shepard is a 74 rating? Is he... No, he's healthy. That seems a little low for him. Yeah, they better have Brian Dawkins as a 99. <laughs> ah, Doug Peterson. Wow. Super Bowl winning head coach. Ben Roethlisberger, why are you a free agent? Oh, it's because he's a rookie. And he's out. What are you, hurt? Bruh. Now, I don't know how I want to do this completely going forward. So I'm just going to try something... Uh, try this out first. I'm just gonna have, uh, the computer do it. No commentary. If you guys like that, then let me know. If you guys don't like that and want me to commentate over it, then definitely let me know down below. If you don't care, then 
Don't tell me anything. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we'll be getting into it. And uh, I'll see you guys after the game. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, the road to the Super Bowl continues here on ESPN. The field is narrow. We'll be down to four teams by the end of the day Sunday. Coming up, we've got an awfully good divisional matchup for you here. Seahawks, Eagles, next. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello, and welcome to this NFC Divisional Playoff game here on ESPN. I'm Dan Stevens. My cohort, Peter O'Keefe, is alongside me, and Peter, only one of these teams will be moving on to the NFC Championship game. Well, it's do or die, Dan. Only one will survive. With the conference championship game within reach, both teams have tasted their share of success this season, Dan. However, one team today will taste bitter defeat. With the game about to begin, we'll see who has what it takes to advance to the next round. And now let's go down to the coin toss. It's heads. Number three. The ref off gets the signal, off. and we're set. It's time for Eagles. Brown kicks it off, and this division championship is underway. Win catches it back at the one. Drag down at the 22. Dexter Wynn got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Eagles will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Westbrook picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the Eagles, 24-yard line. Westbrook gets the call again, and he gains about three yards. Damian Robinson with the tackle. Third and five. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Lewis drags the missile and two yards. They get the first on third and long. McNabb puts his arm into this one and first the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Donovan McNabb uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Righto, Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. Westbrook calls it in right side and loses yards on that one. Marcus Trufant was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Two yards on the play. 
Westbrook picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Third and eight. Defense has hit him hard. Ball at the 27. McMullen goes in motion. Robinson hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. With the coverage. David Akers. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Akers with the 44-yard attempt, and they take the lead. David Akers kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers rockets this one deep. Morris decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 18. Maurice Morris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Seahawks offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 18-yard line. A bunch of receivers out there. The defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Sean Alexander, Alexander picks up six on the play, Number and that brings up second tackle. down. Second and four. Ball at the Seahawks, 24-yard line. This is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner, stepping up and doing his job. Third down, tight end to the left. Peter. Hasselbeck lobs this one a bit, and they can't connect. Incomplete. up to punt after the three and out. Make the return. Ruin gets the ball and punts it away. Fields the punt at the 37. Brought down at the 42. Reno Mahe didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Eagles will start this first play of the drive at their 42-yard line. McNabb rifles this one hard over the middle, and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Second, Second down, down, one man back. Ball at the Eagles, 42-yard line. The pass is Taylor incomplete. puts a lick on the receiver Tom and Kingston separates him from receiver. the ball. Incomplete. Bobby Taylor with the coverage. Bobby Taylor put the brakes on that play without any help. Man, he had that zone locked down. On second down, they try for the first, but ten. it's played well by the defense. Oh, that will bring up third yard. down. Nice pressure that time. Down. McNabb 
works this to the left sideline and interception. It's Seahawks. intercepted. <sighs> Check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Seahawks are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 43-yard line. Catches the bullet out first left down, and Seahawks. gets past the markers for a first down. Bobby Ingram makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. I. Hey, what got her? What got her? First down from the eye. Ball at the 43. Return it! Return it! Hasselbeck, right this out left side, and the first ball's down, caught at the 30. And he stopped right there. It will be first down. Watch First and Watch ten. Pick up the Ball at the twenty-nine. Robinson didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Sheldon Brown did a beautiful job on that last play, covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Jackson goes in motion. Rayburn sacks him way back at the 35. Sam Rayburn gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Up. Oh, that's yeah, that's going to push quarter. them back, way back. Great defensive play. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Eagles with a small lead, three to nothing. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Eagles. to the ground and it's incomplete that will bring up fourth down Matt Ware was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass incomplete it was third and very long and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track you know Dan that's what pressure on first and second down will get you you push them into a hole and then it's hard to climb out fourth down ahead this will fly out of bounds at the 14. Tom Ruin did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside First the 20. 10, Philadelphia. The Eagles were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 14-yard line. Westbrook gets the toss and runs into traffic. Fumble! Time out. We'll see what happens. Stopped at the 18. Todd Pinkston is going to keep his wits about him here and make a smart play. The ball's loose, but now he gains control. Good reflexes to recover from that bad play. Second and six. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Kiefer gets the sack way back at the 12. TKO Kiefer gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push them back way back. Great defensive play. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. 
Kingston bubbles and drops it. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 43 with the Todd cover. Pinkston looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Peter in third down situations, they have not been There's successful at all with the pass. This play was Bobby more Taylor. proof. Yeah, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it, it really hurts. Johnson takes the snap and punts it away. Tackled at the 50. Bobby Taylor didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First and 10, Seattle. The Seahawks have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 50-yard line. Jackson grabs the rope right side and... First Finally down, gets Seahawks. out of bounds at the 33. That will bring up first down. First and 10. Ball at the 33. up second down and will bring up first they couldn't connect on this one incomplete Third down, empty back to you. Hasselbeck throws a heater, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. DJ Hackett positioned himself on the outside back there, but the ball didn't position itself in his hands. No catch. That incompletion will bring up fourth down, and if they had connected, well, it still would have been short. You have to run those routes farther in that situation. <laughs> Ruin gets ready to punt this away. Ruin takes the long snap and punts it away. Mahe fair catches it at the 11. Fair catch interference. Number 21, offense. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Ken Lucas made contact on that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. You just can't do that. First and 10. The Eagles are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. McNabb rifles it out left side and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Donovan McNabb doesn't leave much room for error on this one. It's either a great pass and completion or an interception. Let's take a look. Well, that's a great catch and a great completion. You don't see many quarterbacks thrown into double coverage like that and succeed. First down, two wideouts on the field. Donovan McNabb has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 57 yards and one interception. Second and nine. Ball at the Eagles, 40-yard line. Richie goes in motion. Westbrook gains three yards, and that brings up third Number down. 99 with the tackle. 
third and six. Third down, six yards to go. Yards ball at the Eagles, 43 yard line. This one Passes will fall incomplete. incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Was the intended receiver. Odd Pinkston had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, oh, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Johnson takes the snap and punts it away. Taylor fields the punt at the 22. He's touched down, but he will keep the drive alive. First down at the 24. First down. Keith Adams didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. First down, tight end to the left. This pass will pass fall harmlessly to the ground, and Number it's incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Sean Morey had Number that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. Third and 11. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Mitchell takes the catch out to the left, and he will be well short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Akers kicks from 38 yards out, and it's through the uprights. David Akers knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. The field goal. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers booms a beauty here. Engram downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20 yard line. Hasselbeck unloads this to the right sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Sheldon Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it Second and shut it down. Line. Good denial there. Second oh, down see. coming up. Second down from the eye. Robinson <laughs> hauls in the first pass. And the I'm Seahawks the take their first time out. First and ten. Ball at the Seahawks, 37-yard line. Hasselbeck fires this one over the middle, and it's caught at the 50. First Tackle down. There. The Seahawks will take a timeout. That's their second. First, and First down with the tight end right. Ball at the 26 yard line. Slide. The I'm Seahawks out. take a timeout. That's their final one. Yeah, 
Second and four. Ball at the 20 yard line. Hasselbeck throws a bullet here, and it's First caught at the five. Eventually tackled at the two. It'll be first and goal. Make the 19-yard attempt. First down. Brown from 19 yards, and it's no good. It bounced off the upright and then out. Josh Brown doinks the upright here. Let's watch this again. Oh, sure, Dan, it's a little embarrassing, but isn't that what instant replay is all about? A player screws up, and it's our ratings grabber. That could have put them within striking distance of tying it up, but the kick is no good. They'll have to bust out of the gates in the second half, Dan, and get some momentum early. The Eagles' offense takes the field with the clock at two. McNabb throws a big high lob, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. That's and that'll do it for quarter. the first half of this one. The Eagles are out in front, six to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Ken. We'll get back to the second half of this divisional playoff game in a bit. But first, let's welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Seahawks should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Donovan McNabb would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 45 yard field goal. The Eagles strike first and go up by three. Eagles towards the end of the first quarter. Ball at their own 41-yard line. Ken Hamlin was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Seahawks later on in the second quarter. Seahawks behind by three. Daryl Jackson ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Eagles late in the second quarter. David Akers comes on for the field goal try. Good spot. This is right through the upright. An unbelievable monster of a field goal. Eagles ahead, six to nothing. Itula Mealy had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Eagles are holding on to a lead, six to nothing. Now, let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Ken Hamlin has played outstanding. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Seahawks will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight David contest. Akers, Currently, the they're down six to nothing. Now, let's get to the game. And the Seahawks let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the numbers aren't impressive here, but they can take heart that a single score will change the whole game. They need to put a drive together and make something happen. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Kalber. Susie. Thanks, Dan. Head coach Andy Reid took a moment to First speak with me, Seattle. and he likes the way they've been playing overall. They were moving the ball well, but he would have liked to have gotten a couple of touchdowns. Instead, they've had to settle for field goals. He hopes they can take it up a notch here in the second half and get into the end zone. Dan, back to you. Susie, thank you. Alexander will get the carry on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. And I'll tell you, Peter, Second he made a great nine. tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Robinson grabs the fast ball over the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. 
First and ten. Ball at the 47. Hasselbeck throws a beauty to the right side. And he connects at the 18. And he's in for the touchdown. Darrell Jackson will not take no for an answer. Watch this play where he makes the catch and then knifes ahead for plenty more. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself Number three, and he usually meets the extra it. Point. Matt Hasselbeck holding. <laughs> now the, the point, point after and... It's good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Get it, get it. Brown kicks it off. <laughs> Win fields the kickoff at the seven. Return of 16. Stop on at the, play. the 24. Dexter Wynn got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. Eagles offense comes out and finds themselves losing for the first time in the game. This drive will start at their own 24 yard line. Pinkston grabs the bullet and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Westbrook is at the 40. First Westbrook gains a punch on the play, and that will bring up first down. Brian Westbrook sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down, empty backfield. Bates gets the sack at the 33. Number 50 with the tackle. Second and 12. Ball at the 33. McNabb throws a heater right sideline and Passes fits incomplete. off. Incomplete. Chad Lewis was the Chad Lewis receiver. had a chance for a mid range completion Number back there, but the he cover. just couldn't connect. No catch. Not much success to be had on the right side for this passing game, Peter. They have been off over play. there. Let's yeah, I'd go somewhere else if I were done. This one will fall incomplete. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Was the intended receiver. Brian Westbrook had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, even though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him drop those. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. Fourth down, 12 yards to go. Akers boots it from 50 yards out, and... They take the lead. David Akers really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers booms a beauty here. Engram runs out for a touchback. Engram downs this in the end zone for a touchback.
Hasselbeck on court goes to the left sideline and first down Seahawks. It's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Ball at the Seahawks, 42-yard line. No dice, that and it incomplete. falls incomplete. Corin Robinson was the intended receiver. Corin Robinson dropped the ball Number so fast there, you'd the think coverage. it bit him on the thumb or something. Another ball comes his way, and another... Incompletion. To come up blank so many Ball times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Hello, Jackson, back at the 39. Duke Talu goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. That'll be his first sack of the game. Brown tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Sheldon Brown couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Bruin gets ready to punt this away. Bruin gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Monte feels the deep punt at the 15. Return of 10 on the play. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Reno Maho returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. For a few there, but after that gigantic... The Eagles send their offense out on the field and start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Brown penetrates and stops that back at the 21. Brian Westbrook has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 36 yards on eight carries. Second and 15. Ball at the Eagles, 21-yard line. McNabb lobs this one over the middle. Pass and is incomplete. It's tipped. Anthony incomplete. With the deflection. Anthony Simmons knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third down and four wideouts in the game. McMullen goes in motion. Kingston didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. It'll be receiver. fourth down. Number 43. Todd Pinkston was open as you can get on that play, but couldn't make the grab. What a shame. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down in. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Johnson takes the long snap and punts it away. Taylor gets it at the 42. Brought down at the 48. Bobby Taylor racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Seahawks stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 48-yard line. First down, Seahawks. Robinson right, yeah. makes the I'll catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Corn Robinson makes the catch and then adds a whole lot more on the ground. Watch. 
reels it in, and then makes the D reel with all the yards he's tacking on. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. First down from the eye. Hasselbeck throws the lob right sideline, and it's caught for a touchdown. Corn Robinson reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make Number those three, end zone catches. He sets a high standard for Matt himself and he yeah. usually meets it. Hey. Now the extra point and... The extra point is good. It's good. And... There's the signal and we're ready. Brown kicks this one away. Wynn fields it all the way back at the five. Tackled at the 28. Dexter Wynn got a very respectable That's return off that about, nice baby. kickoff yeah, yeah, there, Dan. There, all right, all right, yeah. The Eagles offense is now on the field and except for a few big plays they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point we'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 28 yard line Westbrook gains five on the play and that will bring up second down And that'll do it That's for the, the, third, the third quarter. quarter. The Seahawks are out in front 14 to 9. Pass complete. Number 50 with the tackle. Donovan McNabb has had difficulties to say the least. And now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far he struggled to get 84 yards and one interception. Third and three. Ball at the left 34 yard line. Kingston snags the dart right sideline and they convert on third down. First down, one man down. Brown sacks him back at the 37. Chad Brown nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Watch the counter. Watch Second the counter. and 13. Counter. Ball at the Eagles, 37-yard line. <laughs> Westbrook Number loses 36. about three, and carrier. that will bring up third Chico down. Kiefer with the tackle. K.O. Kiefer makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. This, yep, he's not going anywhere, Dan. Nice tackle. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. McMullen goes in motion. McNabb unloads this one to the left, and... 
And it's Passes tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down Number coming up. With the deflection. Marcus Trufant swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. The defense prevents them from closing the gap and forces the incompletion. Nothing doing on that Dirk play, Johnson. Peter. Well, they were just trying to get some yards out of it, not necessarily the first. And now they face a fourth down. On that play, Peter. Well, they were just... Johnson lines up for the punt. Johnson gets the ball and punts it away. Taylor fields the punt at the 25. Tackled at the 40. Bobby Taylor did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. First the Seahawks the Seattle. offense Seattle. takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Jones tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Tahani Jones was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Jeremiah Tommy with the set. Matt Hasselback tried to add his own page to the playbook and failed. <laughs> nice going, Shakespeare. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Oh, and shake. This is the series here, baby. We got third down, empty backfield. Hasselback throws a bullet and it's First caught at the 47 and he's stopped right there first down Daryl Jackson has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch there's the catch and there were three guys around him they say bad things come in threes but that didn't seem like that was bad at all First maybe mildly annoying but definitely not bad that's another medium range catch for him he's really found his niche in there yeah and unless he starts getting shut down there's no reason for him to move out of it first down both wide outs to the right Alexander gets the handoff and heads up field. The out, Eagles though. take their first time out. Second down. The clock Second is stopped at 156. <laughs> will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down. Third down, two wide outs on the field. Alexander carries it for a third time in a row and hands wide left. The Eagles take a timeout. That's their final one. Rips him down in the backfield, and that will force a turnover on down. Nate Wayne is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Snitch in there. Gatherless. Oh, huge tackle. Huge play. They don't convert on fourth down. They really don't go anywhere on that one. Except the sidelines with their tails between their legs. They'll turn it over on downs. The Eagles start this drive of the game from well in their own territory. And the clock at 144. 
Kingston catches this one Claude and well in their own tip the clock Number continues to wind down. McNabb bumps this one out to the left and it's Pass tipped incomplete. incomplete. Number 26 with the deflection. Donovan McNabb is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 94 yards and one interception. We almost got Third it, down, seven, seven yards to go. Eagles, yard line. Three, down. <laughs> Robinson makes a play on this one and Fabian forces Robinson the incompletion. The that will bring up fourth down. Damian Robinson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up there. McNabb rifles this one hard over the middle and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on downs. Marcus Tubbs doesn't let this one get far. Swats it down at the line. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. They have time, Dan, and they have three timeouts. They might make it happen. Loss of two yards on the play. Well, that did it, Dan. They can now use up all the clock by just sitting on the ball. What a game. Well, they'll wait until the last second to snap this one and take as much time as possible off the clock here. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. One. The Seahawks come out on top 14 to 9. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Thank you so much. And let's welcome everybody back to our ESPN studios. We welcome you to our playoff edition of the ESPN Video Games Post Game Report. I'm Chris Berman. The Seahawks stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Matt Hasselbeck had it working as he connected with his man here for a big one. A 47-yard touchdown for the Seahawks. The Seahawks take their first lead in the game and are now up by one. The Eagles answer right back. Brian Westbrook would get the carry here. Good blocking up front to help to spring him. That set up a 51-yard field goal. Seahawks back by two. Matt Hasselbeck would find his target on this one. 
The Hawks have it again. Corin Robinson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 42-yard play that set up a Seahawks touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Seahawks win, and they've earned a trip to the conference title game. Hold on. It's only getting better from here. Your final score, 14-9. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Matt Hasselbeck is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You played great today, and you won a close game today. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end for sure. Chris, back to you. And with that, thanks for watching our coverage of this NFC Divisional Playoff game. I'm Chris Berman. From everyone here at ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, so long, have a great day. Center. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Seahawks narrowly coming out on top by five. Trent Green was unstoppable through the air and helped his Chiefs beat the Colts. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Tanui Finoti might be the biggest loss on this list. Tests at the stadium revealed a broken kneecap, so he'll be out for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Mike Brown will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. A broken elbow is the culprit. He's out for the playoffs. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Patriots win their 15th game of the season. And last but not least, we had the Packers come away victorious. So as the field narrows to four, let's hand out a few special playoff-sized game balls to this weekend's primetime player. That'll do it, everyone. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks so much for joining us in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you for the conference championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So, that was, that was just wow. I mean, it was how did it's exciting portions of the game, and that last fan in the stands was pretty funny. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it more than I did. And next episode will definitely be the off season. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And what do you think? McNabb, yes or no? I mean, you can argue that maybe he doesn't have targets because we had like three receivers on the injured board. So, it's it was two or three. I know at, le at the very least Greg Lewis and Terrell Owens are both hurt. So... We're down, at the very least, two receivers. So you can argue that he just doesn't have the targets to throw to. But, let me know anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want commentary next time from me, instead of them, let me know in the comments below. With that, I'm out. I'll see you later.